Hi there. I just wanted to go over these past three days, 13th, 14th, 15th. It's quite early here, sorry. It's like very early. Um, so we've just been through a three-day very important ritual and I wanted to explain a little bit what's going on <coughs> looking at the charts and uh, my info. So, um, yeah, I was recently made aware that the Daily Telegraph did a slideshow called Blackjack and I think you should go and look at that slideshow and the images because it all lines up very much with 5G coming out and if you look at the um, 5G worldwide map uh, they have two events called pr primary pop and secondary pop. Now Popov was a Russian who created uh, the radio um, signal, the radio activation. So that's a little bit like the arc of the complement. Um, you have the arc uh, like in our brains when we, when we come out of uh, right left, uh, when we're unable to perceive the whole as above, so below, we remain binary. So the arc of the Covenant was always talking about opening our third eye. Okay, so these past three days, the moon has been um, passing over Aldebaran. And for the past three days, all the planets have been in an arc with um, Aquarius at the top of the arc. So that should be very, very powerful for us all. I mean, we're really entering the gates into the kingdom now. I mean, Saturn and Pluto are conjunct. So the last time they were conjunct was at the beginning of World War II. And alchemists know that when Pluto and Saturn are conjunct, it's a time to turn lead to gold. Now, from past videos, uh, you know that we're coming to 2020. And there will be the, a conjunction on the 21st of December of Jupiter and Saturn. That's Luke Skywalker and Dark Vader. Um, Dark Vader, Saturn, is the Lord of Time and the Lord of the Rings because he rules Aquarius and Capricorn at the top of the wheel. But we've been told that Solomon does. And Solomon is the sun and the moon. And they are, in fact, opposite... Uh, Cancer and Leo, then they're opposite Aquarius and Capricorn. And we have ended the Dark Ages 12,000 years when uh, the sun fell in Libra and we lost the wisdom and uh, that's how Lucifer was created. It just meant that we became split and we're going back into the age where there is no need for the sun and the moon and everybody can start to know the constellations because honestly, um, I've been an astrologer all my life since a small child, but without the experiences, I had to go out and live, and I had to go and see this world. And it's only two years ago that I've dedicated myself to being an astrologer, and it's only in the past six months uh, since discovering Lavet, um, another astrologer on YouTube, um, that I was really able to get onto the correct constellation, and to work this all out and honestly doing all the charts I'm doing at the moment uh, you really do start to respect the planets uh, it's terrible that we're not given this this information because I'm going to take you through the charts of these past three days and I'm going to try to explain because I think that people just sometimes don't get where I am now and they don't get my blog this is my blog on my astrology here uh, this is my site, my um, astrology site, which is called alchemyaccordance.com, and I have a blog on here. And I've been writing quite a lot, so go through my blogs. But this is an article I did yesterday. So I'm calling it 226 Blackjack because it was brought to my attention that the Daily Telegraph, as I said, did a slideshow of fictional. Uh, mass worldwide terrorist nuclear attacks. 
Uh, now, it's for sure that the rug is about to get pulled because we're all being distracted with yellow coats, um, with um, Brexit. But, you know, we really are walking into the, the trap and it's through looking at the charts I can really see this now. Uh, you know, I'm not following something I've heard on YouTube. I'm not following. This is, this is uh, you know, it's really happening so um, you go and look at the uh, the blackjack event that was, and then go and see my other articles about pop off and orange and 5G and um, and go see the article blackjack. Okay, so here we have the pentagram with the crescent moon, and this is exactly what's just happened these past three days. The moon has gone from waxing bang over Aldebaran and then into its third phase of beginning to wane. So it's a half moon process. You know, Princess Diana died on a half moon. It's very powerful. Um, Venus, which is what this pentagram is, the inverted flower of life that Venus makes in the sky. She makes a beautiful five petaled flower. So this is uh, very much Venus magic because Venus rules Libra, the scales of wisdom, and we're at the last horseman uh, who carries the scales. This is the time of tribe of Dan, which is also an anagram for DNA. Uh, we have 23 double strands of DNA, um, and there are 32 paths of wisdom. BC, BBC, is 223. Uh, because B is the second letter, C is the third letter. Um, that's why CC is 33, and Skull and Bones is 322. Two. Um, two twice is 64. We have the G set in Beerix this year, ending the age of Pisces, Virgo, Holy Grail, um, G7 in Beerix, and Beerix is the 64th department. Um, so where I am here is the 32nd department. We have the Labiha. Uh, we also have a bull ring. We also have the darts champions. It just so happened this year because it's the bullseye. And this is where the moon has been passing over these three days. Venus rules Libra, the scales, and Taurus, the bull. And we've been told that Taurus is masculine. Uh, and that Libra is feminine. Libra, Venus, is masculine, and Taurus, Venus, is feminine. They have inverted the pentagram. And this is a symbol of the black magic. And what better power, I mean, everything is work going in, in favor for the 9-11 event exactly um, 18 years ago, which is the journey of North, South, Nose, Rahu, Ketu. And they're coming back to another twin event because Rahu, Ketu, and Gemini, Sagittarius. Gemini is the double strands DNA, uh, but it's twin, it's twice. So since 9-11, you know, all the security measures have come, and now we're going to walk into a HAL Odyssey 2001 complete takeover, but they need to do massive worldwide some kind of events to set off worldwide revolution. Now, either w will it be nuclear or will it just be the set off of 5G? See, 5G can create people to behave in patterns like in Clockwork Orange. Is it? It's not for nothing that um, Orange communication is 369, uh, which is you know very much the triangle in the circle, the Leonardo da Vinci man. Um, you know, stuck, the flower of life, stuck in matter, DNA, when Saturn, going back to Dark Vader and Luke Skywalker, they will fight for the throne in 2020. So these are, they have to get some main events in the swing now before we get into that energy of truly being able to return to spirit and being in the energy of following the Lamb, the one who lies down to serve the all. Um, you know, if there's mass terrorist events, we will be round up, as Black Jack slideshow says, I'm not making this up, this is what the slideshow says, there would be one month for everyone to have to get chipped, otherwise life imprisonment. Uh, and it's just a way to get this whole show going really fast that we didn't have time, and then the banking system comes down, 
uh, that might be the first wave would be um, the first wave would be the, the rounding um, uh, people up. Um, anyway, so these three days, um, let's go have a look at the article. So I go, okay, mass death ritual blackjack 266 is 10, and 10 is X. Daily Telegraph bought out blackjack 2009, that's 10 years ago, and there you have a link to a video which decodes loads of um, films that all talk about 266. So in the news, we have, uh, during this three-day ritual, Solomon Islands police, so Solomon, uh, that's then the, the fake arc holders wanting to keep us in the sun and the moon. And we end Rahu Ketu in Cancer Capricorn, which is very much that opposition. Because, you know, we're going, Rahu Ketu are going from the, the peak of the arc above and below. Uh, they're switching from Capricorn Cancer, so Cancer is below, that's Sol, and above Capricorn and uh, swinging into um, Gemini Sagittarius, um, leaving the, the Saltus, uh, where we had the blood moon and the eclipses. You can go see those videos that I did on that. So Solomon Island just happens to be a 226 bomb. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. There isn't one news story from the letters of Megan and her father that was all because they were it was five pages long go see my article on that as well it's all five 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 men have just been found i just saw as i came up to do this video i didn't go open the article it's just my msn that flashes info and uh, uh and then, so five men dead uh, it's another five star uh, pentagram i think there's been five shit in the news for three days which is all to do with the flower of life that Venus does in the sky and Venus rules Libra and Taurus. So the elite use the energy of Taurus, Isis, that's why there's Isis scares right today, I just saw that flash up as well, because Isis uh, is the crescent and it works with the pentagram Lucifer uh, and we just had the Moroccan pact and the flag is the five pentagram and we had you know go see all my other articles so this is a real three-day ritual now these three days in roman times um you see that's the triple god like goddess um okay i'll take you to that Okay, do you know how they celebrated this romance holiday? Close your eyes and picture naked Roman men chasing after women and whipping them with raw goat and dog skins. From February the 13th to 15th, the Romans celebrated Valentine's Day. In this fashion, during the feast of Lupercalia, or where I live, where the labyrinth of Saturn is, on the road of Saturn, on the church of Saturn, when the people knew that Saturn was good, and that when we entered the age of Aquarius, we would have closed the four parts of our brain and we would be able to open our third eye and lie down with the lamb. Uh, Leo, the lion that they've just taken out of the Bible and they've now called it the wolf. Well, here you have the wolf, here. The wolf festival was this three days. In 1945, uh, the whole of Germany was bombed. Uh, let me just see the whole of Germany. Me exaggerating. Um, Bombing of Dresden, capital of Saxony, the 13th to the 15th of February. That just popped up on my timeline. Um, uh, go see that. That happened over these very three days. So I knew something was fishy was going up on when we had the clearest blue skies you have ever seen. Something that does no longer exist. It's no longer a conspiracy. Global warming uh, is being so-called counteracted with the dimming of the sun. Chemtrails have been going on for many, many, many years, 60 years, uh, filling us with metal particles for when they turn on 5G. So we've been given a three-day fertility event, which is what... Um, let's go back to the blog... 
So it's known as the Wall Festival. So here where we have the Labyrinth in the village, we also have uh, the so-called birthplace of D'Artagnan. Why? D'Artagnan is the fourth. There are four fixed stars. Uh, this uh, ritual is going on over Aldebaran and the horizon. I'll just show you the picture. We'll come to it in a minute. But just look at that. Uh, the horizon is bang on Aldebaran. These are the four fixed stars. Aldebaran opposite Antares, Scorpio. We had in, you have to go see my old videos, but we had, um, uh, we had the 007 black moons, uh, one in November, one in December, uh, which was very much the beginning ritual, Jupiter and Scorpio. Uh, go watch those videos. I can't remember everything I said. So this is the horizon line. All the planets are above making an arc. And Aquarius is sitting at the top in his true throne. Capricorn and Aquarius are the head of the arc. But the Freemasonry, they always give us Cancer here and Leo. So North Node and South Node, North Node here is just leaving 18 months in Cancer. And it's just at that last degree, zero degrees, look. And it's about to hit Gemini, the twins, 23 DNA strands. I live in the 32nd apartment where the labyrinth of Saturn is. And the G7 is in 64. We have Microsoft 32 megabytes and 64 megabytes. <clears throat> I just have a bit of tea, sorry. Mm. So look at this chart right on Aldebaran. They don't even give us former hold. They only give us Regulus, uh, Aldebaran and Antares. They don't even put former hold here, which is, you know, they don't want to tell us. So this is an opportunity of this ritual you could not have. I mean, I cannot believe these planets lineups now looking at the events as an astrologer. And I can't tell you, um, when you have true respect of the planets, uh, as our organs, none of this can happen. And the reason I expose it is because if you get the as above, so below connection, we can break the spell. 18 years ago, I lived the most terrifying divorce, realizing I was completely set up. I was totally not ready for the big wide world. Luckily, I started to be an English teacher a year before because it was all in the preparation to get rid of me. I had to be full-time working and I jumped into it with a lot of enthusiasm, got jobs straight away, thank goodness. Uh, but I had to deal with, a, you know, a long plan to get rid of me. And that was my preparation exactly, that happened exactly 18 years ago, to sit here as the astrologer I am today. Again, a big thank you to all the people. You know, I've gone through all the gatekeepers and I came to Lavette in the end, who was just the final fairy wand of setting me off, um, doing what I do. And I do give readings. I've recently just found out what my real speciality is. Uh, I tell stories. If you have events, I, I look at your natal chart. Um, I can see special events. Um, Anything that you want to look at, I mean, you can see my site, I have to put up this new speciality. Uh, events, the loss of people, uh, death of a child, um, traumatic events that you've lived. Uh, and I can just connect it all to what you're living today. And I'm realizing more and more that I'm a psychic, intuitive astrologer. I can see the planets, but I can pick up on the bigger story and it's really cool to know your chart and to see events and um, I've been doing three months of free readings of Saturn Returns um, which gave me a really good idea of, of Saturn's importance as that middle tempo beats and when you find that middle beats you escape time and you escape the wheel so we look at the wheel and it, you know, I do have so much respect, so we're going to, we'll, we'll, I just want to look um, a bit more at my article and we're, we're going to come to the wheel and then you'll understand it a, a lot more. Um, okay, so coming back, these three days, this is why we've had sun and I've noticed it's not just being here. 
it, apparently Paris had chemtrails, a friend said on the 13th, but it would make sense that over where I am, where we have the black bull, uh, where we, you know, we have the labyrinth, the bullseye, you know, the, the, it's, my village is called Arigny, uh, Aignan, but Aignan comes from the word Arigny. And uh, the Skull and Bones Cross, where Rahu Ketu are going now to Gemini, Sagittarius, um, and Pisces opposite Virgo. We leave the age of Pisces Virgo. So it's always very powerful for the Skull and Bones 322 gang to do rituals, you know, and it's, that's, the, that's the binary code, that's duality. It's the mutable cross, and we're going on to the... Um, we, we're leaving the cardinal and the fixed stars are on the fixed cross and that's where Taurus is okay so it's getting getting a bit confusing let me carry on according to tr tradition the festival turned into a fertility rite celebration because of a female wolf who allowed Roman twins Romulus and Remus to suck on her nipples the female wolf's brothers officiated the festival asking for animal sacrifices of two goats and a dog. Why the whipping? The women believe getting whipped promoted fertility. We must give Roman Emperor Claudius II credit, again, second twin, credit for unwittingly giving us the name Valentine's Day. He killed two guys named Valentine on February the 14th of different years in the 3rd century. The Catholic Church commemorated their death by naming the celebration Valentine's Day. So this is what it really is. It's a fertility ritual and, you know, nine months later is Halloween's day. So liberty or death, uh, liberty is the word for France, for Marianne, all these female symbols that we're going to see now going through represent um, the three phases of the moon from waxing to half to beginning again its process of waning. Um, I may have done that the wrong way around. Sometimes I get waning and waxing the wrong way around. Anyway, Marianne, a national symbol of the French Republic, a personification of liberty and reason, and portrayal of the goddess of liberty. So, Marianne is displayed in many places in France and holds a place of honour in town halls and law courts. She symbolizes the triumph of the Republic. We, we're leaving the Fifth Republic, right? That's again the five. Um, so, a bronze sculpture of overlooking the Place de la Nation in Paris and is represented with another Parisian statue in the Place de la République. Her profile stands out on the official government logo of the country, is engraved on the French Euro coins and appears on French blah, blah, blah. Okay, but the main thing is that... She represents liberty, egality, and fraternity. You know, hope, faith, charity. It's always the Trinity. We have the three Marys. Uh, so what is the meaning? So Le Marseille is the coat of arms and the official just, yeah, yeah this bit here. Um, as a national icon, she represents opposition to monarchy and the championships of freedom and democracy against all forms of oppression. Other national symbols of France include the tri-color flag, the national motto, Liberty, Egality, Fraternité, the national anthem, the Marseillaise, the coat of arms, and the official great seal of France, Marian symbolism of the crescent moon, which is where we have these three days. Right now, the moon is making its passage from this waxing to half, to waning, and it could be waning to I might have got it the wrong way around. Uh, and we're going to come to it, but look at this we've got the moon. I'm just going to give you a bit now. The moon conjunct Juno. Uh, Juno is an asteroid like Pallas and Ceres, and these are the only symbols under the horizon is Ceres, Pallas, the Wheel of Fortune, and North Node. The rest of all the planets are only on the arc. This is the arc of the triumph. This is the arc of the convenant. This is what Popov dis discovered, the Russian uh, creating the radio frequency, the, the connection, the lightning, the lightning that goes off in our head when we get it. Um, so, you know, look at this. The moon is conjunct 
So the asteroids represent, they came into our solar system only just over 100 years ago, and they represent the four parts of the feminine lost. And this is our journey, is healing her and getting ready for this adrogamous coming back as one. There will be no need of the sun and the moon, Solomon, because we enter uh, the kingdom of follow the lamb. The lion lies down, that's Leo, and we go into the lamb, the one who holds, uh, who lies down for the all, the bigger picture. And we've got, um, so it's happening right on this Aquarius. We've got Mercury conjunct Vesta. That's another, um, Vesta is very much the energy of Virgo, the high priestess, the um, tormented um, pre-sexual adolescence, the highest psychic, uh, holistic uh, age of the female when she's at her pure, pure sexual. Uh, also the mutable cross, normally this is Virgo here, Pisces, and uh, North Node is about to go into Gemini, opposite Sagittarius, where we have this conjunction of Saturn and Pluto next to Venus, um, south node opposite, so a south node just leaving Capricorn about to go into Sagittarius. We've got Black Lilith, that's why we're talking a lot about Black Lilith, everybody at the moment. She's the big rebel, uh, right next to the sun. Mercury next to Vesta, the high priestess, holistic, sexual, so everything about the fertility uh, of this festival. Um, you know, everyone's going to be having sex, and I don't think a lot of people will be having that true tantric, uh, getting into your higher chakras, um, you know, real female um, merging into the underworld and stop looking at being in love with other people and thinking, you know, wanting sex to have a power over other people. Um, um, making love is the passage of going through Narcissus, looking at his reflection and following the woman into the unknown. I'm talking to you about the unknown here. This is what people don't want to see. So all we've got Mercury, Vesta, Black Lilith next to the sun, um, just leaving Capricorn as well. They're all about to go into Aquarius. So they, we've been given these days of sun. I'm interested to see if we get a full seven. It could be a real seven chakra system, full day, but I suspect that we'll go back to chemtrails tomorrow. Um, so Neptune still in Aquarius. These guys are bang on top of former Holt as well. Uh, Mercury might not. He was on the 13th, bang on top. Um, but they don't, he must be, kind of Regulus is here, so Formaholt is opposite here. Bang on top of Formaholt. This, so, you know, for us on a personal level, this is amazing time to come out of this airy fairy. Um, Uranus has been in Pisces for seven years, and this is a bang of a wake up to go from Pisces uh, into Aries. So this is the big conjunction. We've got a conjunction with Eris who I'll show you, um, I'm going to go and read to you about her, Mars, War, uh, and Eris, this conjunction of the Moon and Juno, um, and they're all above, they're, you know, making strong square between this Moon, the people, and the Moon makes this journey, the 13th it's here, I'll just show you the journey, the 14th it's bang on Aldebaran, I've chosen 12 o'clock but you know this is a gradual process this is egalité fraternité and um uh, egalité fraternité and liberté uh, and you know this is all the set off ritual for clockwork orange I and mean, i don't know just how this is going to be set off if are they because they can you know we've had the 5g testing here the epileptic fits in my village are uh, my dog included. Um, so this is enormous, and I just try to share with you. I mean, look, we've got this big uh, T-square here in opposition with Rahu, with Pluto, conjunct south node, destruction, uh, breaking of all systems, and, um, you know, these guys were opposite each other, opposite for 9-11, and now they're conjunct.
as they were for World War II. Uh, Venus was conjunct, you know, or you have to go see my other videos to catch up on the story. But, you know, Jupiter is in Scorpio. This is the kiss of Judas. This is Jupiter. This is the Jupiterians, the Arians, the, the Nazis, opposite the moon throughout this process here, giving power to the ritual uh, when, you know, uh, this is not the third eye. This is the philosopher's fate stone. This is, this is all the wisdom. They take the energy of the female Taurus, which is nothing bad in itself at all. It's very powerful. It's everything connected with nature. It's that Mother Earth. And they use, look at this angle, this square going to Vesta and Mercury. So Vesta is the, that energy also Earth of the Virgo, um, where there's luck. I mean, this could all be very powerful for us all. This is because we're all blind, you know, those of us who are connected, we're switched on, we're using this power in the right way. Um, but unconscious humans who don't know about all this are just remote controlled. And you're being prepared, so everyone's going to be having sex, great. Um, but Eris here is, let's go read about Eris. So we've got... Um, Marianne's symbolism of the crescent moon, which we've just been through, over Taurus. What is the meaning of the crescent moon that Mary is sometimes pictured standing upon? The so-called lunar half moon or sickle of the moon, also waning and waxing moon, is a sign of fertility related to life and death, and thus a popular symbol in many religions. It pinpoints changing seasons, ebb and tide, and related induations and half bingers of fertility and the feminine menstrual cycle. So all very powerful. I mean, in the, in the matriarchal days, uh, all, all rituals were done with the blood of the bleeding girl. This is all, that, that's all the power of the Virgo. Uh, she's the pre-sexual, uh, pre-menstrual, just at that, that stage of going from pre-menstrual to menstrual. Uh, and, you know, these black magicians are all into blood and rituals. And they've so, you know, just, just join the dots. Uh, this is why we've got all Diana in the news at the moment and, and the letters and the connection with uh, William and um, the M.M. Merkel, M.M. because the symbol of Aquarius is, is you know, it's the, it's the wave, the air waves. So the half moon was the attribute of Luna and more specifically of Selene. That's why we see Selene D, Selene Dion at the moment. Dion, Dionysus, Diana and Selene. It was later transferred to Diana, Dionysus. Diana is Di, split, one a half moon. Offspring of the earth mother and known not only as virgin but also as the protectress of the newborn and symbol of fertility in her own right. Biblical references use the moon symbol to highlight cosmic events, divine epiphanies, and the ephemeral nature of human life and history. See, for example, Isaiah, Revelations 21, 23. Uh, so, you see, if you go and see my Blackjack articles uh, of those dates, 21st, 20th, and the 22nd of June, which are the dates that Blackjack, I'm not making up those dates, I went to go and see the charts, and you have to go and see my articles. Um, but these rituals, these three days, will be mass energy preparation for some kind of pop-off event. Parasitic time saw in the symbol of the moon or the mysterium luna. The three phases of the moon, dying, waning, generating, waxing, and giving birth, full moon. A valid representation of the church. Ecclesia is virginal and dying in the encounter with Christ, the bridegroom. She is maternal and life-giving in her spousal relation with the Redeemer and resplendent in her grace-filled existence. So this is what we could all be, get, be getting. Uh, we could all be turning lead to gold. Um... The chart doesn't, it's not easy, but we've got the arc right on Aquarius, we've got Mercury on the third eye, we've got Forgiveness, Vesta, 
of that damsel in distress, of the Cinderella complex. Uh, so many women have had to live out uh, the poor, you know, generation. I just have Pluto and Leo, but all the people born between 68 and 48, that's why it's such a big crossover 10x ritual because we go from the age of 68 to 2018. Now it's we've got all talking in French, France about Je t'aime non plus that came out in 1969 with Gainsbourg and Jane Birkin, very much an archetypal of Mary, you know, Mary Poppins, the rose, uh, uh, pop as pop the rose to no longer be a virgin, to no longer be premenstrual, but to menstrual. Uh, and this has all been inverted. Jane Birkin was not a woman, she's a bloke. So it's sodomy and Uranus is your anus and it's conjunct Mars, virile masculinity and Eris. This is Eris in mythology. Um... Eris is an uns uh, she's to raise, stir, excite, and the proper name uh, you go read all that. So she's she's you know discord. Uh, she is as in Sleeping Beauty the evil witch that comes and stirs up the whole party, stir it up. Uh, the most famous tale of Eris recounts her initiating the Trojan War by causing the judgment of Paris. Here you have again Liber, Liberty. Egalité, fraternité, um, and liberté. Right now, uh, oops, not what I wanted, sorry. Right now, she's conjunct Mars, virile sex, Uranus, electric shocks, explosions, uh, squaring this north node, leaving the sun and the moon, Solomon. Uh, Anyway, uh, so yeah, so causing the judgment to Paris. You go read all about that. I mean, give me a break. And it's all, she therefore, according to Proclus, is part of a plan hatched by Zeus. Uh, Zeus Jupiter, you know, we've got the opposition as well. Uh, Jupiter opposite the moon, the people, the moon going up. I mean, it's all happening. Uh, with this is you know we can turn lead to gold, heal our heart, have true comprehension of this forlorn. Uh, you know, start start loving those those women, and but the women at the same time get out of the the Cinderella complex. Uh, we're warriors. We we have to incarnate this energy of Eris. She's a shit starer, and we've got Black Lilith, who's the rebel. We can use this now, women. We've got to wake our men up. I mean, uh, our men just don't want to get the bigger picture. I've been trying to get ready for these times for the past seven years, and I find myself, okay, I'm in the right place. I'm in quite a strong position. But that farm's not set up. And when they do these pop-off events, um, you know, it's either you get chipped straight away or you're considered a terrorist and unless we're ready to unplug from tear down our 5g towers and unplug from internet these are not the last messages because i'm going to go into my commune after this i'm gonna i want people i love to come and be with me you know i have my best friend coming and i say to anyone out there who seriously wants to uh set up your either you set up your own little home on my land uh, or you, you know you live in the house here, but I'm not waiting on my partner anymore. We've got to get going, uh, and I have a big enough house and land. Uh, but my aim is to live with my community, and we've got a great community where I live. It's not for nothing that some of the most powerful people are living um, where I am, because we know what a sacred area, and we're all everyone here is beginning to get it, and we're all getting ready in our own way. And this is a time to come together with people that you really trust and love. Okay, so I've jumped a bit in the charts. Okay, so, you know, this is great time to get ready. Because, you know, we, for me, the only way that we're not going to get trapped as the new currency, because when there's no more money... Uh, we become the battery system and there's no turning back. So um, I personally think the only way is really just getting back to the earth. 
completely, all of us, and living in communities. Look at this lovely trine from this energy of Uranus and Mars going into Mars. So Mars is that virile energy that uh, it's the root chakra. Uh, and this is what we need to burn the Bunsen burner. You need to, that fire in your root chakra to push up, to get into the heart, uh, to get through past the desire and to really have an intention that's spiritual. And when the, the intention is spiritual, you hit jackpot, you, you open the third eye. And this trine is going right to the sun uh, and Black Lilith, the rebel, the destructor, and Jupiter, uh, expansion, excess in this Scorpio energy, daring you to go into the underworld. I mean, the 12th house here, it's in Aries, but the 12th house it sits, is still setting off in Pisces. So, you know, Pisces is normally the ruler of the 12th house, is the owner of the 12th house. This is the collective unconscious. This is a great time for all of us awake again to tap in and, and you know, we, I'm constantly working in the unconscious, uh, knowing that just by me knowing what I know, it's picking up as trees talk to each other and plants. I know that every time another person gets it and really gets past all the gatekeepers, uh, we are really helping humanity um, take off the onion peel and um, unravel who you are. So we've got this, you know, former Hulk right at the top, where he should be, the arc as it should be. So they're trying to get brownie points. That there's this opposition, a big opposition between Jupiter and the Moon, an in conjunct between Rahu and Black Lilith and the Sun, and still just in Capricorn here before going into Aquarius. So uh, Capricorn, when it's unevolved, is all about power, power, and um, you know Aquarius. Sun is about to go into Aquarius. Is all about groups, uh, the groups, the people. Uh, the, the big communities, so things are, things are going on in good, and those who aren't conscious, things are good. This is all preparation for setting off pop clockwork orange, uh, which if blackjack dates uh, are anything to go on, and it seems so, I did the charts, um, you can see my article about that, um, you know, this is pop-off, This is these are the rituals for the pop-off events. Now, this one on the 14th of February, so the first conjunct to uh, Juno. Juno, go and look up about Juno. Uh, she, Juno, she's a very jealous, she's jealous. Uh, very much the energies of the, what Taurus, very possessive. Um, you know, it's making a big trine to the Pluto and Saturn conjunction. So this is all good for us in our personal power. Um, but if you can just pick up on how uh, the gypsies who rule the world, uh, are, all events are coming out and being played, all news stories, uh, they create rituals to feed these planets and this energy because nobody knows as above, so below. So, you know, uh, anyway, let me show you a little bit, finish the article. Um, So there I show on Stellarium, and I can show you here on Stellarium 2, 2019, 2.13. Okay, it's gone off to 2.30, that's okay. Um, so watch this little journey. Here's the moon, it's half. Okay, it's just at the end of waxing. It's a half moon, you know, Diana, Selene, Dionysus, Selene and Diana. The goddess, the moon goddess of the crescent moon, which is the horns of the bull. Okay, and this is Aldebaran, and this is the magician. So, uh, if we go by, you just watch. I mean, it, it, it went right over Aldebaran, and this is where the horizontal line is. I put this right here. So, you know, that this is. This is the horizontal line that we see here, right on top of Aldebaran. The moon is going over uh, into the underworld as well. So, um, 
uh, okay, we can see here. Voila. And here we see, so we've got Mars is in Aries. It's just hit Aries. Uranus. <clears throat> right conjunct. And I wonder if they give us Eris. Oh. Right, so she's right there as well. Okay. So, you know, it really is, as an astrologer, looking incredible. We go back to the article. Um, Egalité, liberté, fraternité. These are the scales of Libra. Venus rules Libra and Taurus. And we've been told that this is Venus female when it's masculine. This is the the hidden wisdom you have to, when Moses says, look at the snake on the pole, he's talking about this snake here on the pole. Um, this is judgment time, and nobody judges you but yourself. So Mary, the god bearer, is identified with Ecclesia. She's standing on the waning moon, which points out that the Old Testament and synagogue are the foundations of the church. No doubt that we have... Here, also the idea of victory, V for Venus, V for victory. That's why the war, in the war, the victory was about trapping us now. Um, of Ecclesia over Synagoga. The motive of the lunar is very old. 820, blah, blah, val, well, here we go again, Valencienne, Valencienne. Uh, and is not Valentine, and is not used in the beginning as an attribute of Mary, but of the church. It is only in the 14th, 15th century that a late, latter transfer takes place. You can go see all that, um, read this article. The triple goddess has been adopted by many neo-pagans as one of their primary deities. In common neo-pagan usage, the three female figures are frequently described as the maiden, the mother, and the crone. Each of which, that's my dog's having a nightmare as we speak. Oh. So sweet, so sweet. Can't imagine the dreams they have. Each of which symbolizes both a separate stage in the female life. So again, we come back to this other thing, and it's always the same thing. Cycle and a phase of the moon, and often rules one of the realms of earth, underworld and the heavens. These may or may not be perceived as aspects of a greater single divinity. The goddess of Wicca's duotheistic theology is sometimes portrayed as the triple goddess her masculine consort being the horned god. But there you have Pan, there you have the labyrinth of Pan, uh, why, where I am, we have the labyrinth of Pan, and it's the 32, and we have 32 megabytes, and 64 megabytes, and the G7 is in the Aritz this September, uh, which is again the equinox of um, Virgo um, Pisces, the age we leave. I mean, it's all there. It's, it's so that's about the triple goddess. Uh, then Uranus takes 84 years to do a cycle. And in England, we have the death of three men. Police have launched a triple murder. This is killing three men to kill the ritual for the three phases. Uh, the men in their 80s were killed in similar circumstances and found 27. We've got nine, uh, 18 years for Rahu to do a 18 is 9, 27 is 9, an 18 year old who committed suicide here uh, in, in local town, uh, local big town, Toulouse, which is the head of the bull, Venus. Um, so 22 hours, again, this is for the 226 event that I begin this all about, which I will go, we'll see in a minute, but 22 is catch 22. The deaths of the three and 2020, where the conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter will be. Um, Saturn must re reclaim his throne now as um, the Lord of Aquarius and Capricorn because Jupiter has made his birthday Jesus, Luke Skywalker, who killed his father, Kronos, Zeus. Uh, he's been ruling the underworld and it's time for us to, you know, become um, Aquarius is the age of where we, we learn astrology, we know astrology. Um, so 80 and 84, those, that is the time Uranus takes. So again, a ritual with Uranus being conjunct to Mars. 
and we enter seven years of Uranus and Aries. So this is seven years, you know, um, just getting us all into this whole new uh, smart city 5G robot world. All we unplug. So, uh, so and similar levels of violence showed. Well, uh, okay, whatever. Three blind mice is another pun on this journey of the Trinity. Uh, most people don't want to hear, see, um, or speak. The Three Marys. Okay, this is the the last horseman, the apocalypse with the scales. Libra again, Venus. Um, you can go read about that there. Okay, we finished just looking at the charts. Okay, so you see how she moves through. She's now the moon is now in Gemini. So again, it's going to be just as I wonder if North Node will just hit as the moon is still there. I wonder if they go conjunct. Let's have a look. Well, I. Mm, I can't really know because I can't see the north and south node on Stellarium. I'll have to look at charts after. Okay, so there you have that movement of the moon, and it just happens to be on the horizon. And I've looked on Stellarium to see other times that we've had the moon do this journey, but I did, there are none just on the horizon like this. This is this is enormous, you know. So then going back to you have to go read about the blackjack event. See there again, this is Solomon. Um, the crone represents wisdom, repose, death, and endings, represented by the waning moon. The triple goddess sign is identified with Greek moon goddess goddesses. Um, <clears throat> this is Diana, Artemis, the maiden, because she is the virgin goddess of the hunt, the huntress, Diana. Selene, the mother, for she is the mother of Endymion's children and loved him, and Hecat, the crone, as she is associated with the underworld and magic. Well, it only just happens to go into the underworld, the last one. I mean, you know, this could be people ready to dive into the invisible and to just unplug from Neddy Land at last. Uh, it's unbearable once you begin to have this eagle uh, seat with the clearest view, to look at the news, to see anything going on. Because they just keep you as energy batteries to feed rituals. Everything is rituals. Um, okay, I think that we've oh well, just the blackjack, I suppose. I'll show you some more pictures of. I did another post. This is the famous blackjack. Um, I'll take you through. what the Daily Telegraph had out uh, 10 years ago. So they give an event the 20th of June at 2 p.m. I've seen the chart, go look at my article. And they just basically say, you know, three days of events. So I consider these three days of the passage of the moon as a preparation for some kind of event to happen that will either resemble would they dare do it on the exact same dates as this? I mean, it's very possible. Prince William, and they've got all the, the news stories today between William and Diana. Diana is, uh, represents the Venus uh, Taurus moon, and will, uh, I will Taurus, and will I am when I'm 64, four parts of the brain, labyrinth merged. Um, it's all in the news at the moment because they play with you unconsciously. And that blackjack, you go watch it. And then um, the event, the 6th, the 20th of June, means the meaning of a 622 with that H. And the H is the symbol of Uranus. Uh, what is not coming up? What is not coming up? Okay, will you go see that the 622 meaning? Um, okay, this is. Read this page. 
So that's the same as the article, but there are more pictures here. So there again, the crescent of the moon goddess, Luna. That's why where D'Artagnan is, is in the village of Lupiac next to here. Lu, Wolf, or the Loop, um, Diac, Zodiac, last corner closed. Okay, it's a symbol of this is D'Artagnan in that village. Last horseman. And here you have the three stages of the moon that we've just lived. Here we have the three Marys with their fertility eggs. Here, this is exactly what's just happened. This is, you know, this is the sign of Taurus. And Eris, uh, she conquered Paris. That's the symbol of Europe. She came in on a bull. Um, here we have the three... This is again, it's the crescent moon in the pentagram. One, two, three. It would, would be really, maybe we're going to have five days of sunshine. This is Lupiac. So they celebrated, they exactly have only had seven celebrations of Lupiac. So last year was the seventh. This is the club, the bull club of where I live. This is the famous, this is the, you know, you see it in Lord of the Rings. This is just the crescent uh, worship of Isis, the bull. This is the labyrinth of Pan. That's the corn that we just read about, the corn god. That's on my church, the labyrinth. You see, it just represents the Leo da, da Vinci man uh, making the electrical conduits of uh, the arc of the triumph and we've got all the planets on top you know all the planets on top that's when you ignite your third eye so we've got a real labyrinth ritual <coughs> here we have the v for victory and the horned duck god three blind mice three marys this is my great great grandmother who was an irish plate potato slave uh, taken in and trained how to be a lady by Juliet Cameron, who took these pictures. Uh, she's with me in my writings and in my work. Uh, she's helping me to have the strength to speak up. This is this glorious sunshine that we've, we're having another day is blooming again today. Incredible. Lup Lupiac is the cock, the rising sun. Uh, Lucifer, the rising cock, Ra. 22, that's why in the news article we had 22. This is the symbol, the crescent of Islam and the Bolsheviks, the hammer and the sickle. And this is the Uranus symbol, is the H, the hammer and the sickle, 777, Egalité, Fraternité and Liberté. This is everything that's happening. It's Liber. This is bringing Venus, Lucifer, or you find the wisdom. You know, here we have the Trinity in all the logos. Virgin suicides, because the Virgin represents that pre-adolescent Virgo, and where we have Vesta right next to, to Mercury. This is that image of the Virgin uh, Vesta next to Mercury that rules uh, Virgo and Gemini, where North Node's about to go, where we have the 9-11 twin events, and I think this Blackjack event could really be over that Saltis. I mean, the Lion King, William, uh, the sun, it, that's, you know, they, it, it was born on the 21st of June. It may well be that there'll be some, that they, he will become uh, king very soon, or something, maybe something tragic would happen to him and Harry would have to become king and it would be like in the Lion King and we'd have, you know, the the the, the, the evil brother. But I mean it's all just a play. I, I hopefully we're not going to have any more kings and queens. This is the whole point of our generation of Leo and Pluto was that we burnt the house down and opened the doors into the age of Aquarius. This is when all you know all people born between um uh, 48 the 20 years before 48 um, you know from 19 uh, 28 to 48 not many of us are left this is your time 
uh, to, we've not got much time left. We bring everybody in. So in 2020, the 68 to 46 generation of Pluto and Virgo can really begin to create, we can create a new world with that Earth. And it's all happening right now with these guys on former homes. Um, okay, and one other thing to see news article is so we've got the is to see this yes the Solomon Islands police have removed a United States 226 so here we have the 22nd of June of June 6 22nd that's June these are the dates that Blackjack give us. Solomon is not wanting it to use the power of the bottom of the wheel. Rahu leaving Cancer. Moon, Mon is here. Solomon. Uh, just as Rahu leaves to go into Gemini, you know, Moon rules Cancer where Rahu is. And this is a Moon ritual. I mean, you couldn't have anything more powerful going on. Uh, and they don't give me the uh, they don't give me the aspect, but there's an aspect going on between these two guys, and it, it's so strong. Um, and this big square to Uranus from them coming from Cancer that rules the Moon that's doing this passage. I mean, hello. Uh, just incredible so please go read the article uh, and uh, if you are interested in a reading um, same thing you can get my email from here and uh, and have a look at all the things I do and I think I'm gonna leave it at that sending all my love bye